one uh, beautiful, wonderful verse, just uh, Jesus enlightened me. It's found in Psalms 102, verse 17. Psalms 102, verse 17 says, He shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. Verse 19, For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven, the Lord viewed the earth. Why, beloved? Why he viewed the earth? Next part says, uh, 20th verse says, Why he looks, views from the earth, sitting in heaven, the Lord God Almighty, why he looks, on the earth to hear the groanings of the prisoners to release those appointed to death why he is looking to hear the groanings of the prisoner if we read what's the meaning of groaning beloved the bible a scholar says and even the English dictionary people says that it's a sound of pain, grief, sorrow, unhappiness. Sometimes whenever, oh, body is paining, we grow. Sometimes we are worried what will happen tomorrow. In the night, we are groaning. We are groaning. Remember, there is one who is listening to hear the groanings of the prisoner. Those prisoners are not always on the, in the jail. Those prisoners are those people, those broken hearted people in this world who are hopeless, who are helpless. They are caught up in the prison of darknessness, helplessness, hopelessness. There is no hope for me. There is no help for me. There is nobody to love me in this world. But remember, God Almighty looks from heaven to earth just to hear the groanings, the groanings, the sound of pain from your heart, from your lips, from your mind, when you are sorrowful, when you are worried, when your body is paining. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He is hearing the groaning of the prisoners. Next verse says, to release those to death. Hallelujah. Groanings, if we read, there is another beautiful verse that is found in Exodus chapter 2. Verse 23, 24, 25. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23, 24, 25. Now it happened in the process of time. Then the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage. And they cried out. Their cry came to God because of bondage. Beloved, when they were tormented, when they were made to work hard, they groaned because groaned in the because of the bondage. And they cried out and their cry came to God because of the bondage. Whenever you are crying, my brother, whenever you are crying, my sister, remember there is one who is hearing your cry the one who is hearing your groanings because of your pain because of your worries because of the persecution remember oh the Lord God Almighty is hearing you brother so many times you become worried brother so many times the Lord says my son Cast all your worries. Cast all your cares upon Jesus. For he is your good shepherd. He is your good shepherd. You need not to carry that burden of worry. Just cast him. He will do everything for you. What's with men it is impossible. 
Nothing, nothing is impossible with Jesus. That's the promise that Jesus gives to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 24 says, Exodus chapter 2, verse 24 says, So God heard their groanings, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and we, and with Jacob. God heard their groanings and God remembered his covenant with Abraham and God looked upon the children of Israel and God acknowledged them. They have what happened when God saw their groanings, when he heard their groanings, when he, he heard their cries. Chapter 3, Exodus, chapter 3, verse 7 and 8 says, what did the Lord, who is full of compassion, full of mercy, full of love for each and every one of you, my brother, my sister, what did the Lord respond? His heart is full of love and compassion. Psalms 86 verse 15 says, Psalms 103 verse 8 says, Psalms 111 verse 4 says, Psalms 116 verse 5 says, Psalms 145 verse 8 says, The Lord is gracious, merciful, full of compassion. What did the Lord who is full of love, full of compassion respond? Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 says, The Lord says, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmaster. For I know their sorrow. There is one who knows your sorrow, my brother. There is one who knows your sorrow, sister. His name is Jesus Christ who came to comfort all who are mourning, all who are sorrowful. Verse 8 says, Exodus chapter 3, verse 8 says, So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptian and to bring them up from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey. To the place of the Canaanites, Hittites, and the Amorites. Hallelujah. A land flowing with milk and honey. A good and a large land. Probably my brother. Probably my sister. You are working a very rigorous, hard job. You are not getting overtime. You are made forced to may work long hours. Remember, God is seeing. The bondage. God is seeing your burdens and his mood with love, mood with compassion to deliver you, to bring you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Probably you are in a prison. Probably you are doing a low profile job. You are getting very less salary and there is no increment also after so many years of service. You might be oh, crying, Lord, I am not able to pay for my family in India. I am not taking, able to take care of my children properly. Remember, the Lord hears the crownings. The pain, the sorrow, and he will bring you to a promised land, to a land, fertile land, good land, large land, hallelujah, where there will be flow of milk and honey. Cheer up, my brother. Your days of your mourning shall be ended. Your days of darkness shall be turned into Light. Hallelujah. King David, while he was king, beloved, so many times, I and you cry, Lord, why we face in this world so many troubles, so many tribulations, so many trials. King David, while he was shepherd, the Lord chose him and he had to face a lot of struggles. If we read another beautiful, wonderful verse that is found in Psalms chapter 6, verse 6 says, How the David 
Oh, hallelujah. How he felt the sorrow, the pain. Psalms chapter 6 verse 6 says, I am weary with my groanings. All night I made my bed swim. I drench my couch with my tears. I am weary. In the night time, he must be crying out. A sound of pain might be coming from his heart. Because of the persecution. Because the king Saul is trying to kill him. And he is running like a fugitive. Oh, all night I made my bed swim. So much tears. So much tears. Beloved, you and I must have not have shed tears so much so that we can say that I'm all the night I make my bed swim. So much tears in the night. He must be having sleepless night because of sorrow, because of threat to his life. King Saul is persecuting me, trying to kill me. He made all night he made his bed swim with his tears. I drench my couch with my tears. Beloved, we have a God of love, God of compassion. Psalms 56 verse 8 says, Every tear drop that drops he is collecting in his bottle. Sister, he is collecting your tears. Your tears. Your tears are recorded. And the Lord says, in the best of the time, in the, oh, hallelujah, perfect time, you will receive your answer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, cheer up. This groaning, hallelujah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus, also went through. Who is Jesus? He's the none other than God manifested in flesh. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 says, And while he was in this world, he experienced the pain, the sorrow of groaning. John chapter 11 verse, John chapter 11 verse 33 and 38 says, It was like it had happened, larger, Lazarus had died and he was a very close family friend of Jesus because whenever Jesus used to visit the, that city, his sisters and he used to invite them and serve the food to Jesus. So Jesus was very friendly with him when he heard that he has died. Verse John 11 chapter 11 verse 33 says, Therefore when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Jesus groaned in the spirit and was troubled. He knows your groaning. When you are groaned, he understands because he himself has gone through groanings. Verse 38 says, then Jesus again, groaning in himself, came to the tomb, and it was a cave, and a stone laid against him. It again he groaned. Jesus experienced groaning for you, my brother, for you, my sister, for you, my brother, for every one of you. Jesus Christ. God manifested in flesh, experienced your groanings. He knows the pain, the bitter sorrow of groanings. When groanings happen, sometimes we sigh. That's the sound of pain, worry. Remember, Jesus is hearing. And he loves everyone. He came to comfort all who are mourning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. John 11, chapter verse, 11, verse 35 says, Jesus wept. The Son of God wept for you to experience when you weep. Sister, to experience your 
worries, my sister, young sister. Hallelujah. The Lord says, cast, cast. Your future is in my hands. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11 will be fulfilled. I know the plans I have for you, my daughter. Plans to prosper you. It may look impossible. It may look it's a crossing a Red Sea. But I, Jesus Christ, divided the Red Sea. Hallelujah. He will do the same because he loves you, my daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. You have a God who hears the groanings of the prisoner. We shall go back to Psalms 102, verse 19 and 20. There we will again see that to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those appointed to that. Beloved, prisoners are those also who are in bondage. Bondage. If we go outside, if we read the newspaper, so many people are addicted to drinking. They are chain smokers. They are eating Drugs, they are consuming pan parak, supari, and all kinds of cigarettes and all kinds of all oh, different drugs they are taking and they are bonded. Who will deliver them? When I was studying in my engineering college, one of my seniors was there from Punjab. He was very well built, but his mouth. Always he used to eat gutka, pan parag. If we go in India, here also I know people who are addicted to those addictions. Gutka, pan parag. Every 10 minutes he used to take packet after packet. And what had happened in the young age while he was studying engineering, he couldn't open his mouth. His mouth had got swollen. If we read in the newspaper, so many people get, oh, disease, cancer, they die very soon, but they don't have any deliverance. But thank God, he came to deliver the prisoners. Hallelujah. Psalms 146. Another wonderful, beautiful verse says, Psalms 146, verse 5. Six, seven, eight. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who keeps truth forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoner. Beloved, my brother, my sister, if you are hearing this good news, you are privileged. You are having this greatest good news that the Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. That's why Jesus Christ came. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. To He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Opening of the prison to those who are bound. Beloved brother, beloved sister, if you are sitting here, Maybe some kind of bondage. You might be lustful. You might be angry. So many times you might be losing your patience. Some bad words may be flowing out. Or you are addicted to some of the bad habits. Those uh, oh, unproductive, uh, un, uh, oh, hallelujah, responsive activity, unprofitable activity like smoking, drinks, and good car. Remember, there is freedom available from the freedom giver, Jesus Christ. John chapter 8 verse 36 says, If the Son, 
Jesus Christ sets you free. You shall be free indeed. I can't forget one experience which I can't forget, beloved. Few times we face such critical times. I was doing one computer course in Hyderabad and I was staying with my friends. Five my room partners were there. We had taken a flat and you know in the big cities in India it is very expensive. So around eight years back, uh, ten years back, we used to pay thousand, thousand rupees. Five thousand was the monthly uh, rent for that flat. And after the uh, that CDAC course, the computer course, the people that time, the software recession came. So people were not getting job. So they told we are going home and they went. But uh, I had just stayed for one, two months more. But as they left, my problem came that where I will stay? Because getting a place to stay in such big city like Hyderabad, it's very expensive. If you even get a sharing room, you have to pay 5,000. And without a job, without any income, how you will pay 2,000, 3,000, 4,000? It was really difficult. So I used to wonder, my room partners told, we are leaving. And during that time, our classmate who was doing the course, computer course with us, after he finished, he got one job as a telecommunication engineer in one of the company, UTL Telecom in Hyderabad. So he used to come sometimes. And uh, while it, at my place of uh, bed, I used to keep all the uh, gospel magazine, Jesus Call magazine. So uh, once he came and he just saw some uh, pictures from Jesus Call magazine. So he saw a very beautiful picture of Jesus. So he was attracted. He read inside. And one testimony he read that one couple was there, young couple, and they had happily married and they were having good job in multinational company. But every evening after their office hours, they used to go and have drinks and go in the dance bar. And they used to dance and come late in the night, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. And after coming, they will be drunk and they will fight with the husband and wife will fight with each other. And every day there was, oh, confusion, problems. And one day they went to a birthday party. There a brother met him. And uh, uh, while introducing himself, he said, I am serving the Lord. And uh, he said, uh, you feel, uh, I sense that you are troubled. You are very uh, stressful. I want to pray for you. So he prayed in the name of Jesus. As soon as he prayed, they felt, both husband and wife, felt so much peace. Then they came home and they slept so peacefully. Next morning they rose. Oh, where is this peace coming? While drinking every night, dancing, we didn't get that joy and peace. But after that brother prayed in the name of Jesus, our hearts are filled with peace. Then the uh, evening came. They had no desire for drinking, going to the dance bar to dance. Nothing. All the desire left. So my friend, that classmate, his name is Vikas Mishra. He doesn't know anything about Jesus. So he read that. And he said, is it true? I said, yes. Can it happen now also, yes. Then uh, he said, okay, okay. Then he was in a hurry, he went. Then another time he came and I was searching for a, a room partner where to have a place of stay because my room partners are leaving all this uh, city. So uh, I was really in trouble. He came one day and he told, he himself is searching for a room partner. He already has a job. He has rented a room. But he wants to have another room partner. And he uh, invited me. Can you come? I said, oh, yes, I can come. And then I said, okay, I will come. And when I told my uh, uh, flatmates, those who are staying with me, I will be staying with this uh, Vikas Mishra. They told me, do you know about him? I said, no, I don't know much about him. 
you know he has got a job and after leaving his office from his office on the way he will go to a bar and have plenty of drinks and then in the bar he will fight with the bar attendants the servers in the bar and while coming also with the nearby passenger passer by in the streets he will fight he will beat them and he's creating nuisance i was really troubled oh <coughs> how can i stay with him then then they said in the even in the place where he's staying he's fighting with his neighbors creating all kind of nuisance but what to do i had my problem because i didn't have any other alternative so i said no problem i will go the day came when i had to go in his room i shifted in the morning he had given me a spare key i went and in the room my heart began groan filled with pain like sometimes when you are worried your heart will beat fast tuck tuck you can hear the sound i was able to hear the sound oh evening 5:30 he comes what he will do he will beat me he will do all kind of nuisance he will vomit oh i began pray groaning jesus i can't do anything i can only cry i can only pray in tears lord jesus save me save me you came to give freedom to the prisoners the lord gives freedom to the prisoner he is a prisoner of alcohol grant him liberty lord you came to set the captives free help him lord help him lord and afternoon also i couldn't eat my food properly so much of worry tension was coming evening he will come and he will create problem oh my heart and i saw the clock and time passed like anything and 5:30 came and my heart started beating very fast thak 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 suddenly i heard the door knock he has come oh i opened he came i thought he will then slap me beat me punch me oh jesus jesus he came he just said ah uh, for few time he just said samuel that day i read in the magazine uh, that uh, oh, that couple went to uh, the birthday party and some brother prayed in the name of jesus can you tell me how that happened what about jesus oh i began sharing the love of jesus how jesus came how he does the miracle how he gives peace joy matchless peace that drinks cannot give the joy unspeakable that tambaku that cigarettes cannot give he is the giver of joy unspeakable and full of glory then i shared my testimony i shared brother dgs dinakaran testimony he was fascinated i told him brother dinakaran was running towards the railway line to commit suicide due to poverty due to failures due to sickness and how his uncle met and he came home and prayed in tears for four hours inviting jesus in his heart he was moved his face beamed with joy oh then i told now he when he prays he sees jesus face to face and talks with him he was fascinated oh is it nobody told any god will talk to me face to face i said no it's real the time passed from 6 o'clock it became 9:30 i began sharing 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 then he told i am feeling hungry now i will go for dinner he went and he told every 
evening when I come, you tell me more about Jesus. I said, yes. Thank God. Next day also, I was praying, Lord, let him ask of you, more of you. Let him not go to the bar for drinking. And praise God, he came. And again, he was so silent. He had not drunk and he listened. And days passed, like 10 days, 15 days. And one month passed. And suddenly after one month, he came and he said, now I am transferred from Hyderabad to Rajamundri and uh, tomorrow I have to go. So I have to pack all the things. So he started packing all his luggage, all his clothes and there was loft. So while he was taking some books, some uh, 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 the, uh, clothes from the loft, he showed me the empty bottles, the wine bottles and he said, before you coming, Samuel, I used to drink. Coming from the bar, taking the drink. Again, I used to bring the bottle and take drinks here. But as you told about Jesus, my drinking habit departed. There is no desire for drinking. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is powerful. Jesus gives freedom to the prisoners. He hears the groanings. Hallelujah. Your groanings, your cry, your bondage will be broken by the breaker, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. One last thing I would like to share that Psalms 102 verse, uh, verse 20. Psalms 102 verse 20 says, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To release, uh, second part says, to release those appointed to death. Praise God. Beloved, in the world we hear, this young actor, this young person has developed cancer, terminal illness, and he has passed. Remember, the Lord looks from the heaven. Why? To release those appointed to death. Probably you might be sitting. Doctor might have given. You have last stage of cancer. Your relatives, your oh, family friend have last stage of cancer. Terminal illness. There is no hope. But remember, the Lord God Almighty is looking to release those appointed to death. Doctor might have given the sentence of death to you. He will die in three months. I would like to narrate a true testimony that happened in our capital of our state called Chhattisgarh, Raipur. There was a young man, 20 years young man, and he was in all kind of bad activities due to all kind of addiction to all the worldliness and all sins. He developed blood cancer. And 20 years, young age, and he was so frustrated. Doctor said, only three months you will live. He was so shocked and frustrated. I don't want to live oh, with this pain of oh, blood cancer, even for three months. He went to the railway line to commit suicide. And he was waiting for the train, express train to come. And he tried to jump. When he tried to jump, his hand forced him back, pulled him back. He looked, who pulled him in? He saw nobody is there. Again, he tried jumping before the coming express train. Again, one invisible hand made him to pull back. And he was so upset. He was so frustrated. I want to die. But why? Who is oh, holding me? Who is pulling me back? Then one day he was got so broken heart. He went to the market and brought a poison bottle and he drank and he slept. He said, now I, am, I will be sleeping forever. My pain, my sorrow will be over. But after six hours, he woke up. And he woke up, he was 
really annoyed what is happening there one radio program was coming his father was playing a radio he was sleeping and his father was playing the radio and in that one brother was telling jesus loves you jesus can heal your disease if you have sinned he can make you whiter than snow jesus blood cleanses us from all sins and if you have not accepted jesus come he is inviting you he loves you everyone he was so encouraged and he went to the radio and he touched that and the power of god came through him and he vomited blood came out and after that he went again for the medical checkup the doctor were amazed the cancer has disappeared hallelujah the cancer has disappeared and that radio program was jesus calls program brother dinakran was preaching hallelujah praise god hallelujah to his beloved servant the lord says my son i have anointed you i have given you the providence the means to broadcast all these because i am not only the god of dinakaran what i did through them i will do through you i will save the people from suicide i will save them from their disease i will heal them i will deliver them the god of dinakaran is your god what he did he will do it again that's why beloved you are hallelujah privileged brother sister that you are having such a a church which is having a outreach ministry through the television program nlm tv holy god tv your offerings are reaching to those broken hearted those people who are appointed to death to bring the good news the great news the greatest news that jesus christ can liberate the prisoner can set the prisoners free can release those appointed to death hallelujah shall we stand up thank you jesus thank you jesus he is your hearing your groaning he is hearing your cry ask him hallelujah thank you jesus whatever you need whatever pain you are suffering ask jesus to touch you and heal you his mighty hands his comforting hands his touch of love comfort will come and heal thank you jesus only i love you only i love you oh my lord only i love you only i love you oh my lord walking in your ways oh lord singing your praise oh my jesus glorify your name and never turn back only i love you lord 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 only i love
hearing the groanings of every brother, every sister, because Jesus, you have gone through the pain of groanings. Deliver them from their affliction, from their disease, from their problems, from their worries, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Touch them with your touch of love, compassion. Thank you, Jesus.